And my character is just going to stick with the family till there's an actual, till I see a threat. Yeah. So, but uh, do I move myself up next to the window? One second here. I will Cut. hear that. Cut. I'm a bit worried that some might happen with the building to the north, but. It's only slightly on fire. I'm not worried about the fire. I'm worried about what might be in the on right fire. Now. Since we've heard scuffling in here, I'd rather clear it before we even <laughs> consider looking away. Clear it. I agree. Not by stepping on okay. everything, Dragonborn. I'm going to quickly ah. show you what you're seeing. Um, this move is not a physical move. This is... Okay. Um, black. Uh, I see... F I see five enemies, guys. I actually don't know what two of these things are. I can't even tell what they're supposed to be. So you quickly duck back below. Um, did, you, did you see I, any civilians? Uh, no civilians, all enemies. Can anybody light this building on fire? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. We will it's a bad fire. That's what I'm born for. Well, what we need to do is find a way to keep them from getting out when there is a fire. We have Guys, the door. Lock the doors and windows, and then me and Al <laughs> use my god light to start setting the building on fire from the top. <laughs> I could probably burning hand that and get um, all of them. Okay, so what do you guys want to do oh, right now? Okay, we want to lock them inside. I'm so we need to instead of casting a spell from Drux, I do have a I have torches in my in my kit. I can grab a torch and a flint box. Grab a torch. So I. I can actually give somebody else a torch, and two of us can start lighting different parts of the building. I, okay. I have torches. <laughs> as well. If you do that, I'm gonna actually. Is the, by any chance what's the roof made of? Is it actually thatched roofs on these, or is it wood? It is thatched roof. Ooh. I'm going to throw it onto the top of the roof. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to throw one of your torches? We're, we're dealing with the same, with a couple of the same guys that we just killed in the group. Use, um, Drux, you roll oh, an intelligence oh, check for me. Okay. So I am going to pull out a torch and hand it to Drux. Intelligence is not a good thing for me. I pull out two. Uh, clearly not. <laughs> uh, you think throwing a torch on the roof is a grand idea? Yeah, which is why I do it. <laughs> Um, well, you thought of it. Before we do this, uh, before anyone does anything, I say we circle around and find exactly where the fucking door is so we can block the door. We knew where it was, didn't we? We got told it, so we were blocking it. Where did you see it? I thought it was the side of the building, right? I thought it was. We're going to burn down someone's you guys, home. No, you guys, you guys see a window on the. Yeah, we don't side see of the door building. Yet. That's no all door, I we see windows. Okay, I wait till they go around and I'll, I'll just stand here yeah. waiting about to throw the torch um, on the roof. <laughs> who's going to go around? I will go I'll around go right towards there. the south. It just cool. and I want to peer around Our the corner before I around. just dive out. <laughs> going uh, around, hey, guys. I think the door is right here. Go block it then. <laughs> hey, yeah, but cool does see the door. <laughs> This is going to end horribly. <laughs> roll, Bakul, roll stealth. Uh, yeah, yeah, have fun. Try, try to find it. I'm just going to um, head to the weird but staying a few feet behind oh, us. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, you're able to pass by the door without them noticing. Okay, I, I handed off one of my torches. Ado, Ben, will you please pass or roll stealth as well? You have an advantage. Stealth on this who? Me? Out of it. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm just thinking, uh, Firebolt, it won't light anything, uh, worn or carried, but it should uh -oh. be able to light up that roof. We don't have to use a torch. Okay. Uh, As Adovin moves up oh, near that window, the, um, you hear noise oh, from inside. inside. You hear what? You hear A noise, noise from, inside. from inside. Uh, Bakul, roll stealth again. Just stand in there, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> you're not. You're not noticed. He's running that shit. <laughs> Why do I have a feeling this 
me burning down a house is going to end very badly for someone. Uh, <laughs> doesn't matter. Well, that's the goal. For the okay, end jokes, for we, we kind of uh, have something that... I'm going to try to motion to... Uh, Drex, you're all the way back there. So yeah, gotta... I'll move up to near the base of the house, about here, so I can just throw onto the roof. Yeah, and I'm just throw on the we roof. need the family to get behind the uh, lit torch. Um, what... Mm -hmm. We need the families, the family and the and the supposedly so single uh, alone child. We need them to get behind cover somewhere, out of sight, not in the middle of the street. <laughs> that and I need somebody to help me cover the door. Where would you like for them to go? Uh, I say we move them around. Uh, is this a is this a tree or a bush? If it's a bush, then I say everyone hide in the bush. We haven't really cleared any of these houses except for the one that's on fire, so we don't really. Yeah. Okay, so you are going to yell to them what? I'm actually going to tell the party to pass along a message to uh, Geth to tell them to hide behind something, anything that they deem as actual cover. Ow. Something to get out of sight. Otherwise, they might get um, spotted by something that decides it wants to patrol the street. I'm guessing... Shouting, you're still shouting about 10 to 15 foot to each person. Are you yep. going to have Druck shout back that direction? <laughs> you know, you special forces... Hang on a second, I'm going to plug my headset back in. Yeah. Right, let's do Special forces hand motion. Okay, sorry, I can hear again. What are you guys doing? Never mind, I'm going to move around the side of the building to try and help Bakul with the uh, door. South side of the building? Yes. Roll stealth? Roll well, sir. Yes. Oh. No. Advantage. Oh. Don't we still have advantage or no? Where are, you, where are you trying to move to? Around to help him with the door in case something comes through. Something. Oh, crap. On <laughs> <laughs> the second I hear this lumbering, I'm just going to throw the torch. Okay. You're, oh, able, no. you're able to move around to that corner? Mm -hmm. Nothing seems to happen. Yeah. <clears throat> did, did I hear a loud noise take by any chance when we were lumbering around the corner, or did I not hear it? I hear more of those. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> I'm sure. Okay. Well, because it looks like everyone's in position because I can't see around the corners, I'm just going to mm -hmm. throw a on the roof on fire. I'm going to light the door on fire. <laughs> I'm going to... The door, the door stands open. Oh. Well, I light the doorway on fire. Okay. I'm going to use my... You're, uh, throw, you're throwing your torch onto the roof? I'm throwing the torch on the roof, yeah. Okay, roll the roll roof. a d20 for me. Oh, this is going to end well. <laughs> uh, don't you dare fuck this up. Sorry. Sorry, you screwed. <laughs> No, to... it's, gonna... it's not that. I went to roll something, and for some reason, it just gave me a line of text. So give me a second, I'm deleting it all. Oh, crap. That's a good sign. Yeah, it happens. Just like maybe you really shouldn't. Probably not, <laughs> but my guy thinks it's a good idea, so I'm doing it. Yay! <laughs> okay. <laughs> you toss the torch on the roof. I say. That, um, toss it. And I'm gonna back off the second I throw it. <laughs> and it does. I'm gonna back off to about here somewhere. The house <laughs> on fire. <laughs> and with that. Bob? Just real quick. The roof is literally on fire. <laughs> we don't need no water. <laughs> We don't need no water. Let the motherfuckers burn. Burn, motherfuckers. Burn. 
And now, now I needed some drugs to try to uh, cast the wind. Oh, I can see. Right. Hey, I can see. <laughs> Maybe this uh -huh. fire what is the fuck burning. Is that? <laughs> yeah, and if I if I can, that's like I will actually do that with me seeing that it did that to the other fire, and I could possibly do that. Just use my uh, cantrip to wind it across the house. And that's what I was gonna so, say. So, Bakul, I need you to roll a d20 for me, please. We're trying to catch the uh, doorway on fire. This is going to be interesting. Yeah! <laughs> With very on fire! Yeah. <laughs> With terrible oh, intimidating... I would like for you to roll fires. a d10 for me, please. Uh, oh. you need me to roll a d10? Yes. Okay. Turn how many... Five feet that the fire spreads instantly. Did it do it? <laughs> yep. Okay. So, from within the house... Figures come stumbling forth. Stumble out. As they stumble forth into the uh, open spaces. Oh, crap. They, the three smaller kobolds, catch fire. <laughs> and they start rolling on the ground pathetically, trying to put out the flames. There's also come stumbling out a human, a human fire. wearing what seems to be some <laughs> sort of robes. Um, he comes out and his robes have caught fire. And so he's banging at his robes to try to get fire out. None of them, even though they've stumbled out just past Bakul, none of them notice. But behind them comes um, crawling out this giant lizard. And it stumbles out, shaking off some flaking skin, but other than that, it seems relatively unscathed by the flames. Mm. They've oh. stumbled out from the house. They are standing in in front of Baku. Side of the structure. If only I can make him go to sleep on fire. <laughs> um, can I move? Would... Everybody needs to roll initiative for me. Let me get a turn order going, please. Initiative. Let me clear this. Hang on. How do I? Uh, I don't... D20. Uh, just put the initiative button on the card to cheat. Yeah. Yep. Okay, please let it work this time, I hope. Oh, that Mine didn't work. Why didn't, why didn't that work? Turn. Well, mine did, mine didn't you work stop. either. Wow. None of those are working. I got a 17. There are current. Well, why did why guys, did your okay? What guys, did you do? Guys, click your character first, so the little icons come round it. Then click initiative. Do what? Okay, click Where's your token. Click, click your token. Which one of these buttons is the initiative? Uh, on your character. The one that says initiative. The one that says initiative. Oh, so it's on the character sheet. Gotcha. Yeah. That's what I needed to know. Yeah, that's what I was using. I guess I'll roll. Thank again. you for that, Clegg. I appreciate. It. Okay, that works. Okay. No problems. Why, isn't, why isn't it actually but... putting you guys in order? Maybe it has to roll them all first. Mm -hmm. And Tig, I'm going to go ahead and correct my health points since that's never been done. I correct. I, they're still at six for me, so. I'm set to a. Okay, so and let me roll. Hang we've on. got. I just want to be clear. How many of the cobalts are on fire? Three. They All took fire. They took fire damage. Uh, but they, they are on fire. They run out the house. I'm assuming screaming. Because they're on fire. Uh, do we get advantage on this attack? Because we're surprised them as they're running out the house. It just might. I think. Hmm. So, Adovin, uh -oh. you heard the commotion happening on the far side of the building. Hmm. Hmm. I know that theoretically you can get on the map. Really, that structure's. I removed the uh, dynamic lighting on that just so you guys would have combat. The house is. Uh -huh. <laughs> By the way, I heard. Uh, and the doorway. The doorway's also on fire. 
Yeah, they ran through the. They ran through another fire to get through. Yeah. This house is very on fire. There you go. <laughs> Right, okay, I will go. There. I have a feeling there might be some barbecue happening shortly in that house. Mm -hmm. Did you move to right. out of it? Bottom right. I've moved down. Left. Okay. Of the house. Gonna be doing. Bardic inspiration on Vikram. Vikram? Mm -hmm. Okay. Vikram, you have Bardic inspiration. Gives you a D6 add to a roll other than damage. Because okay. you need it. Okay. Cool. Don't we still have someone else with a D6? It no, it's, it's, now. it's expired. It lasts 10 minutes. No. It's a 10 rounds, right? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Which guys have been at it for. Oh, crap. For example, I mean, when he stood there and was able to calculate how long it was, that was more. Than... Gotcha. Yeah, that been more than like what half an hour, basically. Pretty much. You guys were sitting there yeah, tending your wounds every fifteen minutes. So yeah, tending your wounds, and checking on the family. You guys took pretty Captain much a half Fantastic's an hour. Fantastic's for... actual name. What's that, Bakul? What is Captain Fantastic's game name? Uh, he is Adovin. Adovin. Yeah, he's the bard bastard of, you know, thousand yard <laughs> miles of cock. You, you need to put <laughs> Captain Adovin in quotations or whatever, fantastic. On your name. There you, there you go. go. How, right. do you, how do you pronounce that? Cupsick? Uh, you got yourself muted Cupside. again, click. Cupsick? Okay. Thank you, sir. I need your inspiration again, though. Can't see you. He's <laughs> on the other side of the house. Yeah. Yeah. My bad. What are you? It is your turn, though, Buck. Okay. I'm gonna take a couple steps back. Hold on. Let me use the ruler. But right, that's the house. <laughs> <laughs> that that's a house there. I know you're a big beefy fuck. You can't walk through a wall. Hey, I'll do what I want, man. Uh, I'd also recommend not walking through the fire. <laughs> yeah, right. there's kind of a fire and a wall there, so. Hey. Dragonborn. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Fire, you stepped bye. away. Okay. Yeah, you I'm stepped away. Here. Thankfully, they had just they were recovering from walking through that fire. So when you moved away, even though you were within range of one of them, they weren't able to react again. Right, so I'm gonna attack this guy with my longbow. Which guy? That guy? The, the cultist? Okay. Yeah. And dragon longbow. Cultist. So it's a dragon cultist. No. Far at an advantage. So that will hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Burger. That's gonna hurt. Yeah. <laughs> so Damn. they had well. stumbled out from within the house, and the the cultist was trying to put the fire out from his robes. And as he's doing that, you take a few steps back and join Morthos at the corner. You knock your arrow and draw and release. Your arrow flies through, hitting its target. And going straight through, piercing his heart, he falls dead to the I can't yell because my family's asleep, but... <laughs> there you go. Nice. nice job there, syncing that up, guys. Thank you. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, that was good. <laughs> Alright, so the cultist is dead. So you've got three kobolds and a giant loot. And all the kobolds are on fire, right? They've caught they they took fire damage. They're not on fire. I thought you said they were on fire. They were on fire as they exited the house. Okay. They rolled and put themselves out. They took fire damage. 
Okay. Guess it is your. All right. So, I have these uh, people nesting. I turn to them and go, "You should probably get to cover." And then I turn to the woman and go, "Want to kill more kobolds?" <laughs> um. The the woman. Was she properly steps, healed? Yeah. The she woman was steps healed. forward. The man steps towards his children, and they retreat in the nearest house. Nothing like bringing the the woman into steps. The woman steps forward, and she's standing beside you, and she says, "I'm always ready." <laughs> you I like. <laughs> Damn, she's taken. Okay, let's see. Just all right. Let's see. I'm gonna move over. Well, first, let's let the proper thing to uh, Drutz, just right behind him, because I am not doing any frontline shit. Um, <laughs> and I noticed that uh, the big lizard thing didn't seem all that bothered by fire, so now I have a scientific curiosity to see how it does with acid. Okay, so you're gonna so, cast acid at the lizard? Uh, Yep, the lizard and one cobalt. Okay, uh, which? Oh, you're going to cast it over there. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and cast that. Okay. Um, acid splash. Go! Damn. Oh, this could be nice. Okay. Here. Would they actually get a save from this since they don't yeah, know? Yeah. At okay. disadvantage, probably. It's still, it's still an advantage. Yeah, they, they do get it. Mm -hmm. Let's see if acid doubts fire. The uh, the lizard um, that had come out from the house. He came out, and again, he wasn't super affected by the fire. Um, so he was able to gracefully dodge. This green globule of goo as it floated over his head. He took a Damn. step away and dodged it gracefully. He ended up stepping down direction. And as the acid landed and splattered, it was a hit so bold. And the full brunt and force of the acid landed upon the kobold alone. And the kobold literally after having come through fire, <laughs> feeling the burn, the acid lands upon his tender skin and <laughs> continues to eat away at the flesh. And Explosion. the pain that he felt from the fire that hadn't quite developed into a scream, now it was blood curdling. And he <laughs> could not resist just letting forth this blood curdling scream this pathetic whimper of a wine that was louder than anything you could have imagined a whimper in a wine could be. He I felt the sleep. acid, and he fell dead. You did say something before, so. Out of an flag. I said, I said thirty minutes, man. Thirty minutes. Yeah, yeah, I know. No, oh, I know. That's a forty-minute porno. Oh, he's he's getting tired. I told him we'd be going for about another. Oh, so you probably won't be able to finish this chapter. We're we're getting there. Okay, so that kobold has fallen dead. Well, that brings us trucks. All right, I'm gonna move forward. Be right back. Now I took my turn. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to cast Sacred Flame on the Lizard. Sacred Flame on the Lizard? On the, well, Lizard-like thing. Okay, go Giant ahead. Giant Lizard is what it was called. Uh, it's a deck save of 11 or does 4 damage. Or Radiant damage, not Fire damage. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Literally, praise Jeebus. <laughs> he gets injured. I do have to ask, do these guys know where everyone is now, or are they still confused on where the attacks are coming from? You mean? 
Um, we probably don't know exactly where all of us are because they're looking in different directions because they're getting hit from every direction. Yeah, they're getting hit from every direction. I'm just trying to figure out if... I, I'm pretty sure they know where Drux and Geth are, but do they know... Do they actually know where Bakul and I are? Because yeah. he instantly he instantly killed his target. But but he threw he got he shot an arrow. The answer is yes. They've gained line of sight, so you guys okay. are within line of sight. Okay. Um. So, Rux, you cast Sacred Flame, bringing forth radiant light. Flame like radiance descends on the giant lizard. And it torches the giant lizard. This isn't the pathetic brightness. That this is the full on force of this flame like radiance. And it sears this giant lizard. The giant lizard squirms beneath its radiance, but it stands its ground and it looks at you menacing. I, I get my hammer and just whack my shield, just shout, come get it! Roll intimidation. <laughs> roll, roll intimidation. Yeah. It's never going so well at that. Yeah, it's never going well for us. <laughs> oh. It still doesn't go well for us. Even no. with advantage, it doesn't go it, well. It did, did not go well at all. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to get it to come towards me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, that brings us to Morthos. Okay. Because my bow did, uh, so horribly, horribly, horribly wrong in the last encounter, I'm gonna pull my bow out! I gotta mention <laughs> one thing. Hi. You didn't mention you picked your bow back up. Nope. Looted. Yeah, but I'm, yeah, I mean... We looted. It's basically something like that where you guys have a full opportunity to loot and things like that. I'm yeah, going to have an understanding that you're reclaiming any ammo that wasn't destroyed and any weapons that yeah. going to just right. allow you guys to replenish those. So Wait, that way you if you forget, it's not gonna be that petty and oh god. Now Wayne as a DM yep. If at the end of all of this, don't say you go back to the woods and oh, get yeah, your mule and that. wagon. I understand that very well. You're completely kind of boned. I'm just going to say. Because all your crap is on that wagon. All of it. <laughs> so, and someone just I, got really, really lucky because they got a free ass and wagon out of it. Uh, Josh, I free. I paid a lot of money for that. Well, my house is on fire. What was that? Look, there? Free wagon. What did you say, but cool? I uh, spent a I lot of money on my wagon. Wouldn't it be great if... If uh, the person that I had gave him right, ten gold, I don't, that lives in I don't the know house if he added it. Well, Say it again, Drugs. I didn't put on my sheet yet. I'll actually Make do sure that. Do. Make sure you add that ten. Yeah. I've, I've done it now. I was just okay. too busy healing the guys. Anyway, so you're shooting your bow at which which target? I am going to shoot it at the cobalt right here. Okay. Fire your arrow. Fire the arrow. Hold up. You're at an advantage, so you do hit. Good. Find a fucking leak. <laughs> Just takes advantage. Alright, you step up. You're at the corner of the building. You pull forth your short bow. Knock your arrow. Let it loose. It flies true. Hits the kobold. Kobold had stumbled forth from the building, so its back was actually to you. Your arrow actually pierces between the shields. And pierces, it must have been whatever it was. It was either severed its spine, pierced its heart, or just caused it to rapidly bleed and turn. In any case, it fell limp. We 